being a part of volleyball is a lot of fun and it's very addictive. You talk about drugs and alcohol addiction, they should have a thing called volleyball addiction. You know, some people need therapy for it. Could be even better. Uh, back to the top, right? During the pandemic, everybody was always saying, hey, you should pack up and move to the West Coast, go south, all right? Because there's no real beaches, there's no beach scene. And I stuck it out. Back in Trinidad, I made history being a part of the first ever junior national program in my country in 1997. And from there I realized, since I was one of the first to learn the sport at a young age in the country, what is the best way to continue growth, continue to teach the next generation? What New York possesses to me is the challenge of creating a new environment and bringing more people into it. Really excited about that challenge aspect of it and spreading the knowledge a little more on the East Coast side. That's what keeps me up at night. That's the next goal is definitely working on getting more access, more availability, more spaces, so this could actually blossom into something even bigger than we think. I'm spreading myself so thin. I need help from government resources, community resources, and investors. Like I could still be Batman, but I want a bunch of Robins. I want everybody to push this product, which is beach volleyball. And New York just happens to be a great place for it.